Okay, so I'm going live now. I've already been filming a little bit on the uh, the Sony, so it's recording to the f the uh, the file. It may not last five minutes; it might overheat. So I have to be quick. So picked up a new camera, Sony. The ZV dash one M two. So I thought it was a ZV one dash M two. But now they have the ZV-1M2. Just put ZV-2. Make it simple, okay? So this is what it looks like. This is a camera. And this is a plus one exposure also. I probably could put it, no, it's a plus 0.7. So it's not too bright. One was too bright, the RX100, I got it on one. It was real dark when I'm doing these two videos. But anyway, my setup is tripod, the hub, the cam link. I got a USB A to USB C for charging because I don't have a dummy battery for the Mark II. I have uh, the USB micro charging the RX100 right now. And it's still recording, fortunately. So I only have like a five minute window on this 4K recording. So what I'll do is I'm showing this off a little bit. Then I'm going to show you the camera. There you go. So I got on another Manfrotto tabletop uh, tripod. And I got it mounted on uh, a little uh, Texas thing with uh, the cell phone as a prop. And I got that on airplane mode so no one can interrupt this uh, uh, recording. So anyway, I've been doing a lot of videos. Make sure this popped in. Uh, so anyway... Um, the little camera bag I was showing you is basically for the RX100. And if I open it up, this low pole, and I'm going to have to get me another one from Best Buy. I'll get one for uh, the Mark II also. But this camera bag has two of them. So I have the extra batteries, the battery charger for the batteries, and the USB cable, which I'll have to add another USB-C cable to here, which I will. So I have a micro, and then I have this. Uh, I may have to get, see I got one uh, ZDO tripod in here. I usually use the other one for the Mark II. But this is basically for that one. When I got the box, it came with a, a wind muff. It came with, um, what was it? Uh, um, no battery charger, no cable, just one battery and the wind muff with the camera. That was it. 974 bucks. So that's to let you know you don't get much. So you have to spend extra for the battery and for a cable to charge it. But since a lot of people have a USB-A to USB-C cable, that's no problem. You just plug it in and let it go. So I'm going to stop. Yep. My recording went off on the RX100. Okay. It's still at 4K. But I don't have it hooked up because it's not a clean HDMI like it is right here. So it turned off. All right. And um, I'll show you the uh, video there also. So anyway, I had to find the... Uh, dead cat okay so it goes on the uh, camera through the shoe and then the shoe is on now this is the rx100 all right the only difference and i'm going to show you the difference in another video this flips up it's a tilt tilt screen okay so it can vlog there's also no handle on it where the zb1 has it and plus you know, it has a range finder, so I can pop it up, range finder, 
and it turns on, as you can see, and plus the fact that uh, it has a light too, a flash, uh, right there. If I can turn it on, come on. Oh, it's not opening. There we go. Okay. Now I got a flash. So you see? There's the flash and the rangefinder. And then with the rangefinder, you have to pull back out the view. And I can take a picture. If I can get the button. Oh, I got to take it out of movie mode. Uh, let's put it in auto. Okay. And okay, so let's see what happens. Yeah, the flash didn't come on because I got it. Anyway, I took a picture. All right, so that's how you do it. Flash will come on. Just close this, close it down. It's small, portable. It only has an HDMI port and uh, USB. Okay, so you can transfer files or charge it like I'm doing right now. And the green light shows that it's uh, on. So you can see it real close. And also the fact that uh, on the bottom, this is the problem. When you put a tripod right there, in order to remove the battery, it, or the SD card, you have to take the tripod off. On the ZV-1 Mark II, you don't have to. So, and then I'll just turn this off. It automatically closes. So you never have to worry about uh, taking the, the lens off. Don't have to worry about that dust. And as you can see, it's already fully charged, so no light is on. Okay, if I took it off, let's see if it'll stay like that. Now, I like the USB micro, okay. It does keep the camera charged so it doesn't lose battery, but uh, it depends on what you plug it into, okay. So when I plug it into an external monitor or battery, it was working good. But with the 110 volt, somehow that wasn't working, even when I plugged it into an Apple uh, power thing. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe the battery's going bad. I don't know. But I plug it back in. And yeah, you see, it's fully charged. So that, that's the only other thing. Uh, the reason why I got this, okay, more mobile. I'll do 1080p fine. 4K, five minutes max. And as you see, I've already uh, transferred the file over. It's lousy, okay? So I need more than five minutes when I do a video. That's when I bought the ZV-E10. So I had APS-C lenses. There's the dead cat that's on there. So I said, this is what I need, right? Well, the HDMI port, and it has a nice systems where you have microphone which is up here so you plug in the microphone up on top and then you plug in the USB-C and HDMI I don't know if you can get a closer view I can do that real quick too so let's see I don't know what happened but some things turned off Camera effects. There we go. All right. So, and this turned also. I don't like that. Come on. All right. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark. There we go. Now you can see it. All right. Headphone. Let me get over here. Headphone. HDMI. Micro. USB-C 
and then microphone up here. And then when you are vlogging, okay, so let's say these are closed and the microphone would be here. But since I have a dead cat, that's what I use. Now, one different feature, and the reason why I like this camera, it was great when it worked, but I was a little put off that, hey, HDMI port failed without even taking the cable out. It just failed. So I was ready to get rid of the thing, right? But I had a purpose with it where I can take it at a dummy battery. It still does fine everything else. So I said, I'll keep it. I don't want to sell someone or sell something to someone that's broken. Okay. So let me get back to normal. There. That's better. So the other thing, that's why I got the ZV-1 Mark II. All right. So it came with the dead cat, which I've tried. It's okay. But I use Fluffy here. And Fluffy, if I can get it untangled from the uh, lab mic, is a big furry ball on video, Rode Video Micro. All right. So I don't want to unscrew it, but I'll put the label down at the bottom. I had the regular one that came with the, the microphone. And it was lousy. I mean, you could still hear the wind. So I put this big fluffy on. You can't hear it. It kind of dampens my voice too, but it can still pick it up. Just make sure the microphone is pointing towards you. Now with the Ceremonic, what you're listening to now, it's excellent. Okay? And it works with this laptop because it has the connection of TRRS. So that means you get a left and right headphone plus one for the microphone. Okay. What came with uh, the video mic was the regular TRS, only two. Okay. So I think, I, I don't know if the two stripes are for microphone, left and right. I, I don't know. I'm not that good, but uh, Peter Gregg explained things to me, and it kind of went over my head, but anyway. Uh, that's what I think it was. It's like, it's usually left and right speaker, but this is a microphone. So maybe one's for the microphone, one's for, I don't know. But I can unhook the ceremonic, and I'll plug in Pluffy with the cable, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take the original cable off. And no, I don't want to start listening to Apple Music, okay? That's the one thing I hate when things start plugging in. And I'm going to quit. Okay. I'm doing something else, Apple, okay? I know you're trying to help. But how do I sound? Do I sound better? So it's the same cable, but it's a different mic, okay? And I got a lab mic here, okay, but it's only TRS. It will not work on this device. You have to have a TRRS, the three ring one. So I was using that. Then I have one for the cell phone, which I'll get right now. Okay. I am well organized. I put everything where it's supposed to go until I do a project. And then I get sidetracked. So I was going to work on another project, and that's where I found it. Then I realized I got to do that project. So on my PC side, I'm going to put this bad boy in, the 4K60 Pro. I just haven't decided which computer. I got the network cable connected to the 3080 Ti, so I'll probably put it in that one, 
okay? So it does have a holdout, and I'll record it that way. I got a new cam link, okay? But I think I opened it up already, so it should be empty. Let me make sure, because I think I'm using this right now. Come on. Nope. I got it. But this might be the bad one, too. So I got a bad one also. So I'll find out real quick if this is the bad one or not. Yeah, I think this is the bad one. Okay. Never mind. So I'll put that there. Make sure I don't use that one. So... on and I'm going to bring down the volume a little bit because it's in the red is that a little bit better let me put it all the way down I still see my voice going okay external mic this is a TRRS you hear an echo right put it up pull it down cheap insignia Plus, all I have to do this. Sorry. Fluffy, okay. Uh, the one that I had for the road was something like this, okay. Muff. But it says ceremonic on there. And... I'm using the uh, MacBook Air microphone now, okay? So, this mic is a lot bigger. And let me just pull it off. Hard to get it on there. Okay. There's the mic. So if I put this thing on, you see? That's another attachment. So this, I got this. So let's try this instead of fluffy. I, it's all experiment to see if things will work better. Okay, voice sound uh, quieter? Maybe, maybe not. Can you still hear my dog barking? I'm sorry. I keep going out there to find out what she's barking at. I think she's barking at the grass and that's another story I got halfway through mowing my backyard and uh, the wheel fell off so I not got the right side wheels completely off I have to get my butt down to Home Depot to get locking nuts so I can keep the wheels on so I can finish the backyard all right enough set I know mañana Favorite thing in San Antonio, mañana. This is what I was talking about, okay? It's gonna have it for another project, but since I'm doing this and untangling everything, because I was gonna show you different ways of different cables, that was my other project. Same thing. So this is uh, TRRS, okay? So, I'm going to plug these bad boys in, and I used them once before, then I realized I had it on the MacBook Air. Wait a minute. Am I on the right ear? Oh. Okay. I knew something was wrong. Okay. All right. So, this is the Ceremonic with the uh, dust off. Now you hear me, external microphone. How do I sound? And I think I can increase the sound. Yeah. Am I too loud? Am I getting softer? See, I don't like using this because you probably hear it in the sound, okay? 
But if I go to the keyboard and do this number, you can't hear it, can you? You just hear me getting louder and louder. Different tricks, different roads. I'll watch this video and then I'll know what the best settings in. So, you've seen it with the Ceremonic. Now I'm gonna plug back in Fluffy, okay? I call this Fluffy. It's on the Rode Video Micro. So, we're gonna compare this headset. You've already heard, I don't think you've heard from this one yet. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Got that. All right. Unplug. Okay. Now I got this one in. All right. Why do I always get untangled? Tangle, tangle, tangle. Okay. Okay. Sorry, folks. I got hooked on my other cable. All right. Here we go. Okay, so now I don't have it on a head, okay? But to hear it, it goes in the back. So you don't see it. It's less intrusive. You only, if I only tilt my head, you can only see it. But I'm using it right now. The glasses probably um, set it off, okay? So anyway, what do you think? So this is the uh, Mark II ZV-1. I can increase it. I can bring it back down to normal. Okay. This is uh, 18. This is for vlogging purposes. So if I was holding it, look how close I can get. This is like, let's see, if I bring it a little bit closer. I'm about six inches away, all right? So I'll put that back down. And they have different modes. So they got regular Sony, intelligent auto, program priority, shutter, aperture. They also have a manual mode, okay? But they got three more. They got the product showcase, and they also have one for, um, Cinematic, which is 4K24. And that's for walking around and stuff, okay? There's a lot of different modes on this. It has the AI, and it's excellent. By the way, how does the speaker sound? Does it sound all right? I think it's the same thing here, but I don't see a volume thing. Turn it off. No, I don't want to music okay folks I gotta disable this crap all right unplug it the phone now we're gonna use fluffy fluffy buffy It's a lot quieter now, too. Is it more rich? Let me unhook it. I'll take off Fluffy. A little bitty microphone, right? Let's use the Ceremonic. So this is without an air muff. If it was blowing, you would hear <sighs> noisy. You don't want that. Put this on. How do I sound? Can you tell the difference between Fluffy and Mini Fluffy? 
I don't know. I'll have to watch this video to find out, okay? So now I did a tour of the reason why I got the ZB-1 Mark II. No record time limit. It'll last 30 minutes. 18 millimeter wide, 50 millimeters. For carve logging, I recommend only going up to 40. You gotta remember, this is a one inch sensor, so you times it by two. So if I do a 24 on here, it's like a 48. A 25, it'll give me a 50. Yeah, and that's the max, okay? I can put 50 millimeter on certain cameras, like on the APS, or I mean on a full frame, and it's perfect. But on APS-C 1.5 crop, you wanna put, um, a 28 would be like a, uh, a 42. Uh, 24 would be like a 35, 36, okay. A 40 will give it a 60, which is the maximum. 60 for full frame, uh, and then any other camera that you use. So one inch sensor, you divide that by two, an APS-C, you divide that by 1.5, except for Canon, which is a 1.6. And on certain cameras, they have a 1.7 crop, if you do like a 4K30. So you have to take all that in configuration. This is an excellent camera. And I'm going to bring it up to, let's see, that's a 24. You can still see the hood, right? Car vlogging. A little bit more. Okay, 35 millimeter. Full frame equivalent. Looks pretty good, right? And then of course I could zoom it through Ecamm Live, make it a little bit closer. Or I can do this. Okay. This may be a little bit too much for you. I'll bring it down a little bit. So you see, it's a good camera. I suggest that when you watch some of my footage on the car vlogging, you're not gonna tell the difference which camera unless I state it because the video quality looks great. This is a fixed sensor, or a fixed uh, lens on the camera, but it's a variable lens. The ZV-1 is the same thing, but it overheats. But there is a 30 minute time limit on the 4K. On uh, my RX100 Mark V, five minutes, then it turns off. It's a 30 minute time limit on the 108060. I think there's a time recording limit also on the ZB-1, 30 minutes. ZB-10 and the ZB-1 Mark II, no time limit. By the way, how do I sound? I'll find out after I'm done with this recording. There is one more thing, though. So on the camera, if you're going to try out recording devices. I gotta turn it on all the way, sorry. All right. Same thing with here. Okay. So, I'm gonna go to a different mic. Now, I can see my voice. How do I sound? A lot different, right? These you have to recharge, okay? Plus, it captures a lot of sound. That's why I went with Fluffy, and I'm trying out Mini Fluffy. This bad boy right here, okay? So, uh, anyway, I'm just showing you a little setup with my uh, laptop, and I'm going to start showing you some videos 
So this has been going on for 30 minutes already. I'll make a part two, okay, for a laptop set, it, set up with the uh, Mark II, okay, and then doing different microphones. Well, you already seen the microphones. But, uh, no, what the heck, I'll just make this an hour long. Usually I show this on a, I'll be doing this on a live stream, show you all the different gadgets. That way I can answer questions, show you things, and uh, see how many people are interested. But uh, let's see some video. So let's see, go to...
Let's disturb. Yeah, I'll put it on airplane mode too. Okay. And use my cell phone. Make it pop up. Yeah, it should be in the picture pretty much. And it's recording. Now I got the exposure compensation up by one on both cameras. So this is my setup right now. I got Ecamm Live. I am showing you on this recording the RX100. So the first two videos I have, um, and I don't have it live yet on my laptop, is uh, about setting up my laptop with the new uh, camera which I'm charging now which isn't charged okay so let me go ahead and charge that and I'll be right back all right exposure compensation on a plus one this is my setup so if you see I got my laptop I got a microphone that's a SRR no it's a TRRS three ring microphone okay and I have it on the uh, Manfrotto uh, desktop uh, mini or something like that tripod mini this is the Ceremonic V mic mini which comes with its own protection so I'm using a uh, this microphone. You saw the Exignia uh, hub that I have. So I got power going to the hub and then to the laptop which generates the power. So I have a cam link hooked up to one USB-A or USB-3 to the new camera that I'm showing. So I'm going to go live. Okay, so I'm going live now. I've already been filming a little bit on the, uh, the Sony. So it's recording to the, f the, uh, the file. It may not last five minutes, it might overheat. So I have to be quick. So, picked up a new camera, Sony. The ZV-1M2. So I thought it was a ZV-1-M2 but now they have the ZV-1M2. Just put ZV-2. Make it simple, okay? So this is what it looks like. This is a camera. And this is a plus one exposure also. I probably could put it, no, it's a plus 0.7. So it's not too bright. One was too bright, the RX-100, I got it on one. It was real dark when I'm doing these two videos. But anyway, my setup is tripod, the hub, the cam link. I got a USB A to USB C for charging because I don't have a dummy battery for the Mark II. I have uh, the USB micro charge in the RX100 right now, and it's still recording, fortunately. So I only have like a five minute window on this 4K recording. So what I'll do is I'm showing this off a little bit, and I'm gonna show you the camera. There you go. So I got on another Manfrotto tabletop uh, tripod. And then I got it mounted on a, a little uh, Texas thing with uh, the cell phone as a prop. And I got that on airplane mode so no one can interrupt this uh, uh, recording. So anyway, I've been doing a lot of videos. Make sure this popped in. Uh, so anyway, um, 
the little camera bag I was showing you is basically for the RX100. And if I open it up, this low pole, and I'm going to have to get me another one from Best Buy. I'll get one for uh, the Mark II also. But this camera bag has two of them. So I have the extra batteries, the battery charger for the batteries, and the USB cable, which I'll have to add another USB-C cable to here, which I will. So I have a micro, and then I have this. Uh, I may have to get, see I got one uh, ZDO tripod in here. I usually use the other one for the Mark II. But this is basically for that one. When I got the box, it came with a, a wind muff. It came with, um, what was it? Uh, um, no battery charger, no cable, just one battery and the wind muff with the camera. That was it. 974 bucks. So that's to let you know you don't get much. So you have to spend extra for the battery and for a cable to charge it. But since a lot of people have USB-A to USB-C cable, Annoying, isn't it? That's why I want no recording limits on 4K. If it overheats, it shuts down, that's fine. Okay? So, uh, anyway. This is uh, the onboard 1080p webcam. Now let's go back to the ZV-1 Mark II. And I change the position. The nice thing about this is you can change the position back and forth. Okay? Very easy. You're hearing me through the uh, Rode wireless mic. So let's change it back to if I can get it right. MacBook Air microphone. Okay. So it's a little bit different, and I can then do this boy. So I'm back on the ceremonic, but I got something that you don't know. And let me put it back on the uh, webcam right here. There we go. That's right. The ceremonic with the little wind muff. And uh, done. I am tired of Apple trying to notify me that I need an update. I have enough problems with Windows. I don't need Apple to do it. And I'm saying cancel. Leave me alone. I will do it when I want to. So there. Anyway, um, let me go back to uh, this other camera. So this is the Mark II. I can play it right back here. Okay. And I can zoom back to zero if I can find my mouse. Right, I can move this turntable, and I can do this. Up, oh, wrong way. Is that a better shot? Okay. So, this is a 4K, one-inch sensor. This is a 1080p out of a MacBook, M1 MacBook Air. Not bad. I'd rather have this though. So, thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, 
Any questions, just write in the comments down below. Any suggestions, same thing. Any advice too, all right? I'm always willing to take some advice. But be nice, all right? Tell me nicely. All right. So anyway, uh, remember to stay safe. Keep smiling. And until next time, goodbye.